The Zero G Skydance Performance Company was born in June of 2006 as an experiment asking the question, what would a virtual world's performing art look like and would it be interesting? A growing audience was there, already dressed up and looking for something cool to do. At the time, I was at the San Francisco Art Institute studying conceptual performance and reading Augusto Bowles' Theater of the Oppressed, which talked about techniques for a more immersive, inclusive, and interactive theater, a perfect set of circumstances to inspire the world's first virtual in-flight dance company. One of the things that sets the Skydance apart from most performance works that later appeared in Second Life is that the Skydance was always performed live and directed in real time with a minimum of automation. Real time direction of each Skydance performance provided an audio and visual synchronization and as the sky dancers flew through the specially designed stage, they performed choreography to real-time directorial cues like any other theater company. Depicted here is the first sky dance, machinima filled by Teo Takahashi in 2006. The original score by Mick Mahoney was a three minute waltz, remixed to be nine minutes. The first and original sky dancers in this early troupe were Coco Farshing, Deborah Strangelove, and Hinga Chaika and Kumi Kerr, all wearing costumes on their avatars of their own choosing, with an additional new form of sky dance costuming called Cascades designed by Sabine Stonebender. Cascades were large avatar attachments that resembled long, flowing gowns, many times the size of the avatar. Cascades made the performers visible from great virtual distances and made it possible to create theatrical relationships based on color, size, proximity, and motion. The 100 meter tall and 50 meter wide and deep stage set was situated at 500 meters altitude and includes custom scripting that made the entire stage set into a musical instrument. As the performers fly in and out of objects in the sky, small bits of sound play on their proximity, making their flight trajectory directly influence the audio portion of this theatrical work. While the basic musical theme carried over from performance to performance, the additional sounds triggered by the sky dancers made each performance unique. <laughs> 